What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Um, I decided to do a weekly Oracle card reading for all signs, so that's what I'm doing. Um, it's Monday, so I'll try, I'll try to make them out by every Monday. Um, this is for Son of Leo. I feel guided to do Leo. That's Leo. It's just me saying it. Um, this could res resonate if you have Leo in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Moon, Haven, Richard, your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys. Okay, so... As I was meditating on your energy, Leo, um, I heard um, an unexpected phone call soon for um, for a job, a wonderful job opportunity out of your area. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. So an unexpected, whoa, holy crap. Y'all see that? Holy crap. Um, you're either going to be really, I think you're going to be very excited about this or somebody's going to be very upset. <laughs> or, or maybe both. You plug it in, how it resonates. Somebody's either going to be very excited about this or very upset. I mean, I feel you're going to be very excited, possibly, if you're interested in this job opportunity. But somebody's going to be very upset. I heard it's out of your area. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And it hasn't happened yet, it's upcoming. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So I think you're protected. Uh, maybe you felt, for some, you felt like you were not protected in the past. Uh, but you are protected. I think this is spiritual protection and other types of protection. Um, maybe it's identity theft. We have, we've had a lot of identity theft in here. So I feel for some it could be identity uh, protection or physical protection or spiritual protection, but definitely protection energy if this resonates for you. Your real, you think is your real father is currently trying to harm you. However, for one, you're about to meet your real father. Real, real, real father. It has been hidden from you. Your fake father has been hiring a Attempting to hire a hitman. He's very mentally unstable. But through many series of chain events, you're about to connect with your real father. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa. So switched at birth. Um, this was done for strategic reasons. This was done for strategic reasons. Money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. Um, so you being kept from your real father, Leo, was done for strategic reasons. Sorry. I need to show you. It's not too bad. Um, but you're about to meet your real father. Um, it sounds like, well, it's either 3D meeting or it's either or communication. Somehow, <laughs> excuse me, you're about to excuse me, you're about to learn of him um, <clears throat> and communicate, <clears throat> excuse me, communicate with him. So I don't know if that is, um, th you know, text, messenger, or email, or snail mail, or 3D. But I heard your real father. And I heard your...
Woo! Excuse me. Maybe since somebody's got allergies, my ears kind of are itching right now. So maybe when you guys have allergies or um or something like that, uh, this is protect, you know, the sneezing and all that protects your body. So that could be a form of protection too, immune protection, but Phew, I never sneeze. Holy crap. Maybe one of you guys has got allergies. Well, yo, my nose is running. I just heard Zyrtec. Maybe one of you guys is taking Zyrtec or somebody you're connected to is. I just heard Zyrtec. I'm not taking Zyrtec. Um, maybe I need to. <laughs> but um, but this doesn't happen to me. I think one of you guys has allergies or somebody you're connected to does. And I think somebody takes Zyrtec. But Anyways, I heard your real father has been strategically kept from you, but through many series of chain events, you're about to meet him, either in the interwebs, the internet, or 3D. However, that resonates with applies Leo, okay? That's really beautiful energy, ma'am, or sir, ma'am or sir, whoever you are. You mean masculine or feminine. I didn't hear if you're a man or a woman. Elephant, fire ant. Uh, some of you dealing with an earth sign or um, another fire sign. If you are, they get Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midham, and Jupiter charts. Um, definitely an earth sign. Definitely an earth sign. So you're definitely dealing with earth earth sign. You see a third eye up there. Um, whoever this um, earth sign is. I feel for some, this earth sign could be your real father, possibly. I didn't hear it was, but I feel it could be. And I'm only going to draw four this round for this reading. I'm only going to do four, so it's not so long. Uh, so, yeah, so you're definitely dealing with Earth sign. I feel for some it could be your father. Who, whoever this is for, and I remember watching uh, Vision Goddess Tarot's reading about a week ago or so, and she did a, she, she was in her car. She got this download about, it was very similar to that. It was very similar about somebody about to meet their real father. Now, in Aquarius's reading, I did a reading too, very similar to that. Uh, it, it was about a, a, somebody was switched at birth and they're about to meet their new parents. This one I heard specifically, not new parents, but your real parents. But this one I heard your real father, Leo. So, but you got somebody posing as your fake father. But I heard you were basically switched at birth for strategic reasons. So how that resonates and applies. Oh my goodness. Elephant. A water sign is getting a huge wake up call. I'm going to put you down for just a second, okay? Heard a water sign is getting a huge wake up call. So some kind of cancer Pisces Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. <sighs> They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. I heard um, they're getting a huge wake-up call. So whoever this water sign is to you, um, hopefully it's somebody that cares about you. Hopefully it's not a karmic, but, you know, you never know, man. Some of us have one karmic in the universe. Some of us have 50 million. So, um, you know, you plug it in how it resonates. Elephant. For some, <clears throat> your real father is an earth sign. And he is he really, really, really cares about you. He's been very heavily manipulated by a Libra. But he is, one is already broke free of the manipulation. One is about to. They're about to come towards you. Okay, for, so for some, that is confirmation. So for some, your real father is an earth sign. Of course, Capricorn Virgo. And he's coming in as a, an elephant. They exhibit leadership, and they're very, um, elephants are, when they walk into the room, they're very present. Um, like, you know they're there. You respect their presence. I feel this person, their presence is respected, is what I'm feeling. Very respected. Very. 
very respected Barry. Oh my gosh, I heard Barry respected. Um, that's really beautiful, Leo. Um, how that resonates. I heard Barry respected. So I think he might, for some of you guys, your earth sign real father could be a big wig, like a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. I didn't hear he was, but he might be. If he's not, he's just well respected in his community, his society, his world, etc., etc., etc. Whoever this earth sign is, be you, okay? But I heard, um, for some, for some, it is an earth sign father. For some, it's not. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, um, I heard, um, Apparently, he there's some kind of Libra energy connected to your Earth sign father, your Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo father. Okay, um, and now it can be masculine or feminine Libra. They can have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Feminine, Human, Jupiter, Charts, and whoever this Libra is attached to this Earth sign father. Only he knows who this Libra is, not anybody else. And when you meet him, only you're gonna know who it is if, whenever this occurs, because it hasn't occurred yet. If you find out about this Libra. Because I heard um, he's breaking for Some have already broke free of the manipulation of this Libra. Some are about to. So they might completely block this Libra out of their damn life. And you might not even, you might hear about the Libra, but you might not meet the Libra is what I'm saying. For some, I feel the Libra could be a lover or an ex-lover or a girlfriend or, or boyfriend. Um, or something, someone's actually connected to them um, is what I'm feeling. Um, I didn't hear that. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. Because why would, why would the, the part, you can have anybody manipulate you, but usually the ones that manipulate you the most are the ones your heart string and loin connected to. And that's just the truth um, from my experiences. Now, of course, I haven't been with anybody in a long time, sex or relationship, but that's what I'm feeling. Now, it really could be anybody. It could be any freaking body. But I'm feeling, for a majority of you guys, the father, the earth sign father, is probably is a current sexual partner, a former sexual partner, or a current relationship, or a former relationship. Some have already broken free of the man manipulation. Some are about to. And they're about to come towards you. And for some, they could, um, I think that's where the protection's coming from. It could be physical protection. It could be... Um, it could be physical protection. It could be maybe they know people in your community, in your world. They're just having people look after you, not in a creepy, stalky way. Um, or it could be financial protection. And I say that because you have the money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. Possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Fire ant. A Sagittarius is not going to want this. But he does not care. Know this. Oh, man, we're all about your real father in here. Leo, this is a good reading so far. Okay, so I heard a Sagittarius is not going to want this, um, but he doesn't care. Wow, this is getting so good. So you plug it in how it resonates. Through many series of chain events, a water sign is about to fall head over heels for uh, a fire sign film. Masculine water sign. There is a bisexual water sign. She's very mentally unstable. Not her. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, this is so good. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I used to do these readings. So, okay. So, we have a Sag Fem that's about to get pissed. Uh, sorry that you're about to come towards um, your Leo. It's a Leo daughter. Um sir, if you watch this, I don't know if you're a cross watcher and you, or you watch this. We've got a lot of folks up in here. So, and I know a lot of cross watchers watch. So, of course, you're welcome to watch, but I'm not sure. The side, this is a side fem. She's coming in as a fire ant energy. So, side fem, you're, well, obviously, you know you're going to be pissed. You're going to be pissed at him because you want to keep the information back. There is no more holding it back. Okay, I heard there's no more holding it back. And I heard a water sign masculine through many series of chain events is about to fall, fall, I heard fall in love. That's hard to find in 20 freaking 22. I'm just being for real. Uh, I'm serious. Cold, cold world, world out there. That's just the truth. Trust me. Especially in the employment sector. Hell, I've been wrongfully terminated four times in my universe. 
shit, all I want is a job, and people keep fucking firing me, so I mean, Jesus, and you're not talking no drugs, no alcohol, no nothing, 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 and I'm just being for real, those people got some screws loose. Anyway, so I heard through many series of chain events and water signs about to fall head over heels in love with fire signs, so thinking it might be a Leo, because we're in Leo's reading, or it might be another fire sign, it might be this angry sad, oops, it might be um somebody else. Uh, another Aries Leo Sag, but um, they could have Aries Leo Sag and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But through many series of time events, hopefully it's not sex magic. I didn't hear it was. Um, relationships never last with sex magic. If anybody needs to hear that, they never do. They never do. But a Sag Femme to be very pissed, sir, that you're about to come towards her for strategic reasons. For strategic reasons, but I heard you don't care. You don't care. So you already know um, she'd be pissed coming towards you, um, coming towards for strategic reasons. You already knew she'd be pissed. She's coming in fire in her. A pregnancy is significant in here. A pregnancy. Oh my God, and a pregnancy is significant in here. Maybe she's pregnant or somebody else is pregnant. We also have that bisexual water sign femme in here too. You're pulling a lot of folks in here, Leo. You've got a whole crowd up in your reading. Your energetic space is popping, just saying. So... <laughs> We've got a water sign femme bisexual because I heard the masculine through many series of time events, the masculine water signs about to fall in love with you. Um, fire sign, fire sign femme, possibly a Leo because we're in Leos, but it could be any fire sign. You plug it in how it resonates in your own life, you guys. But then we had a fire, uh, a water sign femme bisexual. I heard not the water sign femme because apparently there's a feminine water sign femme. She's bisexual. She's not the one going to fall in love with the fire sign film. It is the masculine. Um, and that's the way it needs to be. This fire sign film is not bisexual. And that's the way it needs to be because this fire sign film is not bisexual. Well, there we go. We're going to all up in everybody's business today. Okay, so this fire, you fire sign film, I strongly feel you're Leo. Um, but you could be any sign. We're in Leo's reading. Hey, holla, holla, holla. So, um, y'all are, y'all, it sounds like it's going to be mutual. He's about to fall over head over heels for you, ma'am. Just saying. I strongly feel your Leo. We're high heavy Leo placement. But we have another water sign femme, a femme that's bisexual. I heard not her because this person is not bisexual. I heard this is the way it needs to be. Maybe you have something to do with this, sir, is what I'm feeling. I think you're about to have something to do with this. Because you're going to have to have an angry-ass Sagittarius feminine just pissy your ass. And that's just the damn truth. She's coming in as fiery energy. Piss as hell. I think she's fiery with her pissy ass. And that's just the truth. She's about to have to get over it. She's about to have to give o get over it. Okay, she's about to have to get over it. So... And I think you're coming in as leadership, sir. Leadership with your fire, desire, drive, passion, and motivation. And your leadership. Uh, elephants are leaders. They're leaders. They're natural born leaders. And they're very well respected in their elephant community. And that's just the truth. Just saying. Cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. Wow. Someone did some really fucked up shit to you in the past. Really fucked up shit regarding your career. Withheld information, did not tell you the truth. Were very disrespectful and dishonest, but through many series of time events, it's about to be evened out soon and quickly. Okay, I heard somebody was very, very, very disrespectful to you, ma'am, or sir. You mean ma'am or sir, Leo. They were very disrespectful to you regarding your career. Heard they withheld information. They didn't tell you the truth. They left you out, left you out in the cold. For some, you could be wrongfully terminated. Like me, hell, I'm the queen of damn wrongful terminations four times already in the universe. But I heard that soon and quickly, it's about to start evening out soon. So it's about to start evening out soon. So I think you're about to be protected in the workforce. Um, I feel for some, if you're wrongfully terminated, maybe you visited the EEOC or you're considering visiting the EEOC. I visited it three years ago. 
but I never went back like this last time because I, nothing ever got done the last time I went. And that's just the truth. Um, and the whole reasoning of me going three years ago was so I could place a lawsuit because I was being bullied and harassed in my community. And so I could pay off my house and protect my kids. But none of that shit ever, it never happened. And then I ended up losing my kids. Um, so what's the point in that? It's just me now. You see what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But um, I heard, but through many shocking series, something was going on screwing your workplace. There was withholding of information. Somebody didn't tell you the truth. They didn't tell you all the truth. They were being disrespectful to you and your career. And I feel for some, it is professional career. Some it could be, um, you know, it could just be a fast food place or um, something else. And I'm not downing those types of places. I've worked fast food and I've worked at Target before. So I'm not downing those places. But um, I feel it for some, it was professional career. I'm just being for real. For some, it may not be. You plug it in how it resonates, but you're definitely protected um, from negative forces, I feel this is, um, um, for some, you might have went to the EEOC, or you're about to, um, if you had a discrimination or sexual, um, uh, harassment issue, possibly, um, possibly, um, or just protected, um, other ways, maybe you have a, uh, I heard soon, so, Whoever this is for, you've had some withholding, whether you're currently employed in the energetic workspace or you're not, uh, like me, because I'm not currently employed in the energetic workspace, but I know a lot of you guys are, and some you have businesses, but you have to plug yourself in where you fit. I feel this can go if you're currently employed in the energetic workspace or you're not, is what I'm saying. If you're currently employed in the energetic workspace, maybe there's some kind of information that comes to you. Maybe they withheld the information it's going to come to you. Maybe some form of assistance or something life-changing that changes you or your kid's life if you have kids. Or changes, like you get a raise or promotion or something. Um, or something, a big break happens if you're currently employed. If you're not, like me, um, I'm feeling you won't get terminated. Wrongfully terminated every two months, three months, four months, or what have you, what have you. Um, is what I'm feeling here. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? And a Leo Feminine Spiritual Protection is on fleek. And a Leo Fem Spiritual Protection is on fleek. Well, you go through bad self, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. Leo Fem Spiritual Protection is on fleek. And one of the channel messages I heard in here earlier, at one of the beginning, Leo, was one of you guys was about to get a phone call soon for um, an interview. I heard a wonderful job opportunity out of your area. So I think your real dad for some, might have something to do with that. Not saying that might, is all for, for all you guys, but I feel for some, your real dad might have something to do with this, possibly. Possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But um, you're definitely protected, whether it's spiritually, employment sector, or um, otherwise. Um, I'm honestly never been so excited to turn 40 a day in my life, to be honest with you. I'm 39. I feel I look damn good for 39. Still got a lot of work to do on myself, but uh, but I'm getting there. Just saying, just saying. I'm serious. But, but, 40 is the magic age. You get fired after 40, you can claim um, <laughs> age discrimination at the EEOC. That's what I'm trying to say. So, uh. I'm going to be a fit-ass 40-year-old. I'm being there bucking it until you're bucking it. And that's just the damn truth. Um, I've still got a year to go. But you better be glad I will be happy as hell when I hit 40. Because I know if I get fired after 40, my ass is going to the EEOC and I ain't fucking playing around. This time I didn't do it because I was a little depressed because I lost my kids. I'm not super depressed. I'm not going to take my life. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Just disclaimering that. But... I was, I was super fired up three years ago to do, go down there because I was like, this shit's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. You're single mom and two kids. You're fucking bullying the fuck out of them. But they never helped me. They never helped me. This time, 
it was different because my kids are who I live for. There's, and I'm not being, I'm serious. They really are who I live for. So I don't, they're not with me. So it, it's like a piece of my heart is just ripped out and it sucks sitting over here by myself every day. It really does, you guys. Because I want to get out of the city so bad so I can work. I want to work, like, I want to work and make money. Um, and I'm serious about that. I want to work and make a lot of money, especially because I don't have my kids. What's the point of me just sitting around doing jack shit? Nothing. So um, that's why I want to sell my house and get the hell out of here. Um, and that's just the truth. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. A Scorpio and an Aquarius's relationship is about to completely dissolve. Know this. It's about to be the best for both of these people. A Scorpio and an Aquarius's relationship is about to completely dissolve. Know it's about to be best for both of these people. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, Scorpio and an Aquarius's relationship is about to completely dissolve. So kaput. kaput. Some kind of Scorpio and Aquarius. They could have Scorpio or Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lord, Moon, Heaven, Jupiter, Charge. You plug these people in how they resonate to you, Leo. But I heard it's going to be the, for the best. So it's in your reading, Leo. So you might be in a relationship with them. You might be connected to them in the workplace. They might be in your community, in your world, society, what have you, what have you. Some kind of Scorpio and Aquarius energy. Heard the relationship's about to completely dissolve, but it's going to be for the best. So. Since it's in your reading, I think you might end up being in one of these people's lives down the line, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates it. For one, you're going to meet your real dad. And I love stories like that. I really, really do. I'm a foster child for anybody who doesn't know. I'm a foster child, and I love to hear stories like that. I really do. And really, that kind of, and it really breaks my heart that I lost my kids, too, because I, like, I wanted to, I don't know, like, I eventually wanted to add to my family. <laughs> not subtract from my family so i mean shit money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall an unexpected apology is about to come soon to one leo an unexpected apology is about to come soon to one Leo. So one of you guys is about to get an unexpected apology from from somebody. It sounds like it's going to be unexpected. You're not expecting it. Uh, maybe they're not expecting to give it to you. I'm not sure, but you sure as hell aren't expecting it. If this resonates for you, Leo. And that's just the truth. Unexpected money is about to come for one Leo. Uh, inheritance that has been strategically held back is about to come back, uh, about to come for one Leo. And one Leo is about to find out about a home that is theirs, that has been strategically withheld from them. Blackmail. Well, damn, now, now the flow is coming in. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Okay. So for one of you guys, you got money coming in soon. So congrats to that. Um, some way. Now, I don't know how it's going to come in. That really could resonate in a million different ways. That could be donation. That could be a lottery winning. That could be a payout, a settlement. I mean, a million different freaking ways. But somehow, money is, it could be a refund. Money is about to come in. So unexpected money. Um, through an inheritance winning or windfall. But it's some kind of unexpected money. That's one. Second one, um, I heard um, one of you guys has a home out there in the universe you don't know about, but it's been strategically held back from you uh, through blackmail. But you're about to you're about to learn of it. Um, that's great. Um, that must be nice. I've never I I I looked today on my ballots. In fact, look, I was just looking. Let's see. Hold on, hold on a second. I tell you, because I was trying to figure out how much um, if I sold this house. How much y'all would get back? Oh. Where are we at? 
$86,000. Oh, $86,000 on it, on my home. So that means I've paid off more than half. I paid off, well, I paid off half. I paid off approximately half of it so far. Um, approximately. Um, so, um, eight, uh, it, yeah, I owe about $86,000 or something like that. But, um, approximately. Um, but I'm proud of myself because every month I always pay over, over, over when I can, when I can. Now, of course, I'm not working out in the 3D workspace right now. I'm just so, I just, my thing is I know if I go out there in this toxic ass city, since I've been wrongfully terminated in it four times already, if I get a job, a nursing place, anywhere, I don't care if it's a nursing home, I don't care if it's a hospital, I don't care if it's dialysis, I don't care if it's home health. I know I will get terminated because fool me once, I'm a fool. Fool me twice, I mean, I'm sorry, fool me once, uh, my fault. Fool me twice, I mean, fool me once, your fault. Fool me twice, my fault. Well, hell, you fooled me four times. So, really, it's been my fault times three. So, I know if I go out there and get another job in the city, they will fire me. And that will be another company I will be closed out of. And I don't want to keep getting closed out of companies because that, hell, I won't, there will be no more company. Well, I'm sure there'll be companies in the universe to work for, but I don't, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not one, I'm just not that kind of person. It Really, I lay down at night sometimes and it drives me crazy thinking about all the places I can't work at. And it's not because I didn't, it's not because I deserve that is what I'm saying. And I'm serious. Because I'm a little OCD like that. I like to have everything paid off. I like to have everything certain ways. I'm not super OCD. Right now, I'm a little dragon. But, uh, because I'm a little sad my kids are gone. But, but I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not going to hurt myself, harm myself, or nothing like that, you guys. But, but, it does make, get me down. So, I would be on, 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 on top of shit. I've just been doing a lot of self-reflection. And being a little sad, I mean, sad, but not so sad is what I'm trying to say. Um, I still get out and do things within financial constraints. Um, but it's just getting myself out of this crazy ass place to not be in financial constraints, if that makes sense. I'm dragging on, I'm sorry. Okay, so one of you guys is about to get a lot of money. Some way. Unexpected. One, you're about to get a home. You had no idea that is yours. But you're about to get it. There was blackmail involved. So whoever blackmailed whoever, somebody blackmailed somebody, but you're about to you're about to get the home. And then there was a third one. Um let me see if I hear anything else. An earth sign gets heavy spiritual downloads. Earth sign masculine. The elephant energy. I heard the elephant energy. I heard the elephant energy. So the earth sign masculine gets heavy da uh, downloads. So for some of us, well, I heard the elephant energy. So for some of you guys, the elephant energy is your dad you've never met. So I feel that is the elephant energy for some of you guys, the dad you've never met. Taurus Capricorn Virgo. You could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here your charts. Um, that's really beautiful, sir, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. Through many shocking series of shame events, you will have good fortune. Somebody is trying to block you not selling your home right now. But through many shocking series of shame events, it's going to happen anyways. Okay. Okay, Leo. So, one of you guys is trying to sell your home right now. Well, I know I am. But it sounds like another one of you guys is too. But one of you guys, it sounds like there's some kind of behind the scene activity going on. They want to control you. But it's not going to work. That's not how the world works. Okay, I heard they want to control you, but that's not how it's going to work. That's not how the world works. And yeah, no. Because the thing is, you try to control somebody, and they start feeling 
control, abuse, and domineering domineerism, they're not going to love you. And that's just the truth. They're going to be afraid of you. And you're definitely not going to get the good, good poo-tang, good, good sex. And I'm not trying to be crass. I'm just being for real. Somebody needs to hear that. Because we were pulling a lot of folks up in here. I mean, if somebody is afraid of you and somebody is afraid and like, and they're, you're abusive and they're afraid of you and you're in a relationship with them, if anybody needs to hear this, Leo or anybody else, they're never going to look at you heartfelt and sexually in the way they need to again. If anybody needs to hear that. Because there would, there has been abuse there. So, yeah, they might have sex with you, but it, it, it will be mentally forced or physically forced. You want to find a flowy connection that meshes and connects positively and wants to be there and wants to make love and wants to have sex and wants to do the rough sex and wants to make love and, by the beach and wants to have sex in the car or wants to whatever, whatever. You see what I'm saying? They want to do it because they're not afraid. There's not abuse tactics. There's not control tactics. There's not manipulation. There is free-flowing energetic space to where it just sexually and mentally and physically draws you into each other to where you just want to do it, if that makes sense. And, I, I mean, I'm just being for real. If you might need to hear that. Because I heard some, one of you Leos, you have a home you're trying to sell or you're about to try to sell. So you're about to put it up on the market or fast cash it or something like that. How that resonate? Like realtor or fast cash or what have you, what have you. But however that resonates, um, one, for one of you guys, somebody's trying to behind the scenes stop it. But I heard it's for control and abuse tactics. Well, if they, that person's trying to control and abuse you, and they want to enter in a relationship with you, they're going to, and they're highly intuitive, they're going to figure out you're controlling and abusive. Um, or you will, Leo. You will, or they will, or what have you, what have you. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But they will, um, eventually, the love will go out of the situation, is what I'm saying. It will be fear, fear-based. And who wants to be in a relationship fear-based? Not I, said the little red hen, and that's why I've been single so long. And that's just the truth. And when I started noticing crazy ass shit out in my universe, my universe was being fear based. I sure as hell wasn't going to get into a relationship with anybody out my damn universe. Da, 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 da. That's what I'm about to boo. You see what I'm saying? Um, and that's just the truth. So, yeah. So, um, but I heard it's not going to work. Um, through many shocking series of chain events, it's about to backfire. It's about to backfire what I heard. It's about to backfire. So, it's about to backfire. So, good. One of you guys wants to sail, so you can get out. Um, either get out of your home, or move into another home, or get the money, or move, or what have you. Everybody's got their own story. Y'all know I want to move, like, locations, but y'all know why. So, um, I mean, everybody's got their own story. Whatever it is for you, Leo, is what I'm trying to say, okay? So, one of you guys, it's a large amount of money. For one, it is um, a house you did not even know is yours. I don't know if you're about to get the deed on it or information on it or what have you, what have you. And for one, it is um, uh, oh, um, selling, selling of a home. Selling of a home. And that will bring you a um, large, uh, I'm assuming a large amount of money. Uh, how that resonates and applies in one's life. Okay? Um, how that resonates. Water sign masculine, no, you need to become this person's friend first. This person needs to know they can trust you. Okay, I heard water sign masculine, no, you need to become this person's friend first. They know they need to, they can trust you. So, water sign masculine, you're heavily, well, one, I heard through many series of events, you're going to fall in love with fire sign femme. But for one, I feel you're going to fall in love with Leo. I think they could have highly, uh, Leo, highly aspect because we're in Leo's reading. But, um, 
your water's not masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine, but I heard no, whether it's a fire sign femme or a Leo, you've got to become friends with them first because they know they they got to know they can trust you. So it sounds like this um, Leo or fire sign, how would that resonate? They There's reasons they have trust issues, but there, it sounds like there's reasons they have trust issues. And it sounds like they have trust issues in the dating department. That's what it sounds like. And pay out energy for one long time coming. And pay out energy for one long time coming. If one of you guys are about to get pay out energy, pay out. Um, long time coming. Um, well, hell, I should have had four in the universe so far, and I've gotten zero. So, <laughs> but at least one of you guys is about to get a payout. Pay out. Congratulations, whoever you are, and how that applies. Um, I wish happiness and blessings upon everybody. I've been totally screwed in the work workforce um, arena, for sure, for sure. But I don't wish that upon other people. So congratulations, whoever that is for. Let me see if I hear anything else. Someone is looking for a ring. But they know they got one, they're you're about to get engaged. One, they haven't even you have no idea they want to marry you. For one, it's been a long time. For one, you've never met this person. Oh my God. Wow. So you damn, so you probably didn't help resonate. So what are you guys? Okay, so you've been dating. You're about to get engaged. And I feel they're about to propose to you, Leo. I feel diamond ring, platinum, titanium, rose gold, whatever that is, what have you, what have you. That's for one. I feel you've been dating a hot minute, whoever that's for, okay? Situation one. Situation two, for both of those, it sounds like you are not dating this person. For one, <laughs> for one, you've never even met this person. And for one, you have met this person, this person in your past, but... Uh, long past, long past. Person, you're long past, or one you never met, Leo. Damn. But I heard they want to marry you. Well, but I heard they know they need to do it the right way. Well, yeah, I would say so. Like conversing with the person to find out if you're either, even even energetically compatible. Just saying, just saying. Holy crap, man. Um, you gotta communicate. Just saying, just saying. If anybody needs to hear that. Oh my God! All right, I'm closing it because I'm gonna do a reading, um, the uh, live readings at six. Love you guys. I'm gonna say.